Oh yeah, Mega Man X. Mega Man X. Mega Man. Mega Man X. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better than the last time I recorded this. All right, so last time we beat uh, these two. And today we're going to beat uh, this guy. And probably this guy. Yeah, yeah, we got to beat this guy. And then I think we have to pop back here for an item, and then we got to beat this guy. So we're going to fight Storm Eagle. This guy is weak to Sting Chameleon's weapon. But we don't have that yet, so we're just going to beat him the normal way. The the super way. It's got one of the best songs in the game, apart from maybe Spark Mandrills. I was at a... I, I, I have Spark Mandrills theme from this game as my ringtone. And it was a toss-up between this... Uh, Spark Mandrills and this. Actually, I don't know. Did I go with this or Spark Mandrills? No, I think I went with Spark Mandrills. Yeah, I know. I, but I do love this song. I think Spark Mandrills' song just kind of etches out. And you'll hear that one. Soon enough. Alright, now we need to... We got that first item, which is sometimes I forget about. So I'm glad I remembered that. Alright, we've got this though. We've got this. Don't worry. Hup. Take out this guy, no problem. Hey, whoa, whoa. We could probably get out a weapon or two. We can move some fire or something like that. To make it a little bit faster. Now, there's a robot up here we have to get. Oh, there's an energy tank up here. Oh, there you go. It's a guy up here. We don't need to kill him. But doing that breaks the, the windows, which is pretty cool. And we, we're all about the cool here. Whoa! Well, I did some stuff that I haven't done in a long time. No! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I will. Li I won't lie. That was my fault. Why was that my fault? I'll tell you now. Um, I for some reason decided to take on the the machine with fire. Man, never do this live. Never try and play a game that you're usually good at for people. It never goes well. What are you, why are you getting so high? Well, I never seen them get that high before. We can't use up all the fire because we need to use it to get into a room afterwards, right? So let's just... There we go. Right. Okay, good stuff. That. Oh man! Ugh. Yeah, you can kind of jump across some of these because they they get pretty ridiculously high. There we go. Uh, we don't need to go down there. The fight, this fight, there are like areas down there, but they just have one ups. Where we want to go is here. Switch to fire. Break in here. And we get ourselves a brand new weapon. And this is all about getting a better hat. And this hat is a really good hat. Because it will let you break stuff. Which is obviously good. This opens up... Uh, this opens up actually a couple of areas to get upgrades out. A little example there it shows you. Uh, if we go back to Flame Mammoth's level after this, we'll find an area. We'll we'll find an area that uh, is actually a bit of a pain in the ass to do. It's not so much difficult as it is just inconsistent. I don't know a good way to do it consistently. It's just this really awkward ass jump that I see. I just miss like a lot. That was close. See, I didn't need to kill that guy. I just went back and did it for the fun of these. I'm a lunatic. Oh. Oh. 
Now, you can do this here. You can go down the stairs, or you can do that. You're supposed to go down the stairs and go for the door, but if you go that way, you get like a nice one. You get like a little bit of health and a little bit of weapon energy. Alright, here's Storm Eagle. This guy has got this guy's got all the moves. This guy's got a move that will blow you away. Usually what he'll mostly do is fly in the air, and he'll either spit out an egg that shoots little babies of him. Or, and there, or he'll do this, so he goes in the air and... Oh no, he's doing his... What's this one? This is the egg one? You can actually destroy those eggs before they land. He'll also go up in the air and do one where he kind of, like, dives back and forth. Man, the audio... The audio is, like, completely in my right ear, because... My dog knocked my, um... My dog knocked this, my stupid, uh... My mixer off the desk. Yeah, so what you can do is, when he when he flies down, if you're paying attention, sorry, I'm trying to... I'm trying to play my mixer when I was doing that. When he comes down, you can kind of, like, hit him as he drops. So this is a way to get, like, cheeky little bit down. She also does that, which kind of blows you back a bit faster than that one does. Like I said, he's not like I remember when I used to when I used to play this guy the first time. I find him so hard, mainly because of this bit. I could not get like I I just get hit all the time on this part. I'd never get it right. But now, it's just kind of a great way to get a little bit of extra damage. Oh, oh, oh where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. Storm Eagles down. Alright, now we're gonna hop back to Flame Mammoth's level. Oh god, my wires. My wires and chair, they're wrapped around each other. So we're gonna go back to Flame Mammoth's level now. And we're gonna get ourselves a uh, upgrade using the headpiece to break through a little area that we couldn't break through before. Um, and that'll give us uh, the special, that'll be us the upgraded charge on our weapon. And, uh, was the music alright? Yeah. And that'll, that'll let us uh, charge up to the third stage, which will let us charge up our, like, other se secondary weapons we have. By the way, Storm Eagle's weapon is amazing. Look at that. It's so fun to just, like, take out people with. <laughs> Alright, here's the jump. This is a pain, right? What you have to do is you have to jump onto there, and you have to kind of come at it at an angle. There we go. Yeah, there you go, I got it. Okay, I got it actually first try. Usually that takes me ages. If you mess the- if you land on it and break a few, and then fall off, then you have to go back and restart the level again, because it requires you to do it very specifically. Specifically. It's an awkward jump. I made it look a lot easier than it was, uh, honestly. It's, um... Well, not hard. I made it look a lot more simple. Like, it's just a... Often it's a, a form of just, it's just a source of just endless frustration. I'm sure people who are good at the game can do it really, really consistently. I just, I've never really worked out how you do it consistently. And that is the supercharge. Alright, let's get out of here. And now we're heading to Boomer Kawanga's level. Now I get the I get the special charge before I go here because I need a I need my charged up ice weapon to be able to get a an upgrade that normally I think you're supposed to get it with Boomer Kawanga's weapon. So you're supposed to beat Boomer Kawanga and then come back to this level and um, get the item then. But we don't do that because it's this because doing it this way saves time. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Now, there is a way to do this uh, without getting hit. I seem to not be able to do it right now. Nah, that sucks. You can kind of do that. If you're like quick, you can jump up all the ledges, but I couldn't do that. And you want to avoid these beams because they will. What? What? Oh, oh I have fire on. I'm gonna avoid the beams because they'll do that and they'll make them shoot lasers at you. Like angry people. Ow. Man, I am taking all kinds of hits right now. Holy moly. 
That's what I get for trying to be a nice guy and explain things. Oh. That's what I normally do there. <laughs> I just kill him with that. Kill him with kindness. I'm just gonna keep myself safe. I'm gonna die. That would be super embarrassing. And uh, this bit's probably the most annoying part. Kind of just a platform that goes up and enemies pop down. I forgotten actually where the enemies pop down from. But you don't want to, you basically just don't want to, oh god, land on the platforms. You don't want to get stabbed by the spikes on the platforms because they'll just straight up kill you straight away. Straight up, straight away. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. Man, we are having a bad day today. Come on. There we are. Yeah, nice. All right, that was a nice clean. That was a good clean one there. All right, now what we're going to do here is charge up our ice move to full. Put it down, makes a platform. We ride it out, and then we boop, get that one. Otherwise, you use Boomer Kawanga's move, which is like this boomerang that comes out. Uh, but um, I remember seeing people do it that way. I think speedrunners did it that way. And I was like, well, that is pretty, that's a pretty good way to do that. I keep accidentally switching to fire. I must be hitting one of the buttons for it. Uh, there we go. All right, Boomer Quang is up next. Uh, his weakness is is Oz. His weakness is launch octopus's weapon? The missiles? Uh, we don't have those. Uh, so we'll just do them the normal way. We may die on him. This is probably one of the few bosses I do die on. More than I'd like. He has this, uh, he has this really annoying ability to warp around. And if he, right, basically, when, you see, when he, right, runs at you, he tries to grab you with his horns. And when he does that, he kind of throws you in the... Yeah, like that. There you go. The warping kind of makes that a pain to deal with. It's all about kind of... Shooting at him as he appears. Oof, there you go. Hey! We got you, you warping sons of bitches! <coughs> oh, sorry. It'll be pretty funny if you haven't ever, if you've never seen this game before. It's gonna be pretty funny to see how trivial all the bosses are made when I use their weaknesses against them. It's actually quite sad. A lot of them you can stun lock. Um, that boss in particular, you can just stay in the corner and use missiles, and you'll kill him. Uh, right, we got the stuff we needed there. There's only one upgrade on that one, yeah. Uh, so next up, we need to do... Actually, who are we doing next? Is it you or you? I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll do those next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. These, just been, like, these are just uh, short, short-ish episodes as I make my way through the, through the game. And I'm kind of using this as one of my buffer series to help build up space for when I'm away in America. So I hope you understand. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you for the next episode of Mega Man X. Bye-bye!